Our streets, our stories, highlighting efforts to keep our community safe. And today, IMPD officers and members of the community came together to discuss the issues between police and the public. The conversation comes just days after a deadly police-involved shooting on the city's northeast side over the weekend. RTV6 reporter Eric Cox has that story. I'm standing here at the very same intersection where just four days ago officers shot and killed 36 year old Mac Long. That was Sunday afternoon. Well, now here, right now on Friday, Chief Rick Height and other IMPD officers are meeting with several members of the community, having a candid conversation about the issue of police community relations here in Indianapolis. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about what our community looks like and what it is we want to do. Cops and community members came together today at 31st and Sherman, the same place police say IMPD officers Kyle Flynn and Jared Hildlebaugh shot and killed Long after a traffic stop. I hope that what comes from today's meeting, that there will be some type of collaborative approach to dealing with the real issues. Both Flynn and Hildlebaugh are five-year veterans on the force, currently sidelined due to administrative leave. Meanwhile, police and the public are getting to work on mending their relationship. So that's all we've come today to do is talk. Um, we don't have all the answers. Uh, you don't have all the answers, but we're a community. The department already held one public meeting earlier this week about the investigation, where they revealed their decision that Sunday shooting was justified. This killing with the officers has got to stop. My son was 27 years old. He got out the car and ran from the police and ended up dead. Owen says her son Dante Sowell was shot and killed by IMPD officers back in January after police say Sowell fired his gun at them. I think they overdid their job. They didn't have to kill my son like that. But she isn't the only one upset about all the police involved violence. No police officer that I've ever known wakes up in the morning and says to themselves, today's the day that I want to go out and put a notch on my belt and kill another person. They do not want to do that. Why do I have to come when I bring the army and the cavalry with me to fix problems that we can fix ourselves? You outnumber us. It's more of you than our police. So when are we going to start policing our own communities and recognize calling the question things we know are out of order? We need the community also to come along and say, hey, what can we do to offer real change in our neighborhood? If we're serious about making change happen, it starts today. Just last Thursday, a mere three days before that fatal police-involved shooting here at 31st and Sherman, Police Chief Rick Height went on CNN to talk about police public perception in America today. And during that interview, he told CNN that Indianapolis deserves a fair and impartial police force. We're here on the northeast side, Eric Cox, RTV6.